Hello everyone. This video is going to go over uh, a MATLAB script for creating videos from images. So let's say you took either rapid shot images using some type of uh, DSLR or time lapse images where you leave a lot of time between pictures and you want to create a, a video of them. Uh, I wrote a little MATLAB script that's able to do that. It is not the most efficient way to do it. It does take uh, longer than other than other codes I've seen, but um, I like working in MATLAB, so this works for me. So we start off with our normal clear all, close all, CLC uh, commands to, to clear everything out. Then we're going to define our frames per second. All right, so how many frames uh, per second do we want? Normal video is recorded at, let's say, 30 to 60 frames per second. I find between 8 and 10 is good for viewing if you're going to view time lapse. Uh, it just depends. You may have to play with it a little bit. Uh, you can uh, name your movie however you want to name it. This is going to generate an AVI uh, because we're going to use this AVI file function uh, to generate our, our movie. So we start our movie generation with this line. Um, it's a simple bit of code. Then we're going to define uh, a directory. So we're going to use our C colon backsplash uh, the, the the location of the file where we have all our pictures. So in this in this instance, uh, I have a bunch of pictures of a train train going by. So I have a bunch of train images. Uh, they look like this. They're just uh, a bunch of pictures in a directory. Then we're going to uh, this is just a bit of code to set up the the file structure top file. We're going to list the files. We're going to change the names uh, to strings and then take and get a little, this is just finding the length of C without the first two because when you do this ls, LS command, the first two, two entries aren't particularly important in this case. We're going to get the size of this, this length and then start a counter we'll call A. So then we run a while loop. This while loop is going to be what actually generates the code. It's, it's quite a small code. So we're going to start off. We're going to close all again in case any figures got generated. We're going to uh, define a file, which is just a uh, cell to string, and then our, our top. <laughs> it's a little interesting. We're, we're going to generate a character from a cell to string of top file, which is with the CC of A. Uh, a character of that. So it's probably not the cleanest way to do it, but it does work. So that's good enough. I wrote this some years back and I was just trying to get it to, to actually function properly. We're going to take uh, this data in command. All it does is, is write the, the name of the picture that you're working with to the command window so that you know where, you're, where you are. Or maybe this file name does it. The, both of these lines are the same thing. We're going to generate a figure. Generate a line that, for file to read. So we're going to take our directory name, add a backslash, and then add our file name. And then I am show is going to show the the image in that figure. And take this file to read line that we just generated and show the picture that we define. Uh, we're going to make axis tight. We're going to keep the axis close to the picture itself, so there's not a lot of extra space. Uh, turn hold off. Uh, if you wanted to do more than multiple things, I think I just forgot to erase the hold off command. We're going to define H as the get the current frame, GCF. Add it to the AVI job in this line and then increase our counter by one. And then finish the movie down here. And I believe it's going to add the last frame twice because of, of this bit, but I don't mind because it keeps me from missing a frame. And I wanted to look for. There's usually a pause. Uh, it does work without a pause, so we'll just leave it the way it goes. So if I run this, you can see it run. Okay. Uh, if I run this, it'll run, and then I'll generate generate a video that looks like this. And so you can see. Uh, four frames a second, we can watch watch the train go by. Okay, so I hope you find this 
script. The script is located at firesciencetools.com. You can just copy it directly off the website and into your uh, MATLAB editor and then save it as whatever you want to save it as and run it directly as it is. Uh, I hope you find this. There's a link to it in, in the text below so you can link to it directly. I hope you find this useful and have a good day.